Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel in 2016. Collecting all these again. Stay straight. We've got it again. Are we going to make it to the finish line? I hope so. I hope we're going to make it to the finish line. Uh, at least land on our wheels so we don't blow up like that. No. Okay, so I've got Commando, AUG, and the Galil. I'm going to try out the Commando for a change. Can we just jump straight down? I'm guessing maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Okay. What's up guys? Today I'm level 35, prestige 3. I'm going to go into prestige 4. We've got up here just normal zombies. I just like that little trap being there in this train as well. That's another another good thing about this train right here because that trap just helps so much. That's what I've been waiting for. Fuck. Okay, I'm out of here. Double points. I really don't want to risk my life to get that double points. So we'll save it. Well, save it. We'll just leave it. The release of the Eisen Drag is shortly upon us. 12 days for PS4 users and about 40 days for Xbox and PC users. Then there are things that we believe will be in the map, but we can't be 100% certain. Things like that we can teleport back to the moon from within the castle. We haven't actually got many. I think this is the last one. What do we get? Mm. Hoo -hoo, that one actually looks really awesome. I'm going to put that on right now. Today we have something amazing. We have the official gameplay trailer for Dirt Eisendrack. I know these images are low resolution, but it's about as good as we have at the moment. But if you look at this image here, you can see that the dog runs are returning. And, oh boy. Here we are, and all the tram using the tram control panel. This video is just a showcase where one of the parts of the Wrath of the Ancients buildable item is. There's just here. You've got like these two little wolves. Today we're going to be talking about how you can get the Dermaster Balkan Schutzer trophy. So, right, this is going to be... Oh, he's dead. That was so... Oh my god, that's... I've never had that happen before. That's awesome. All four bows are upgraded. It's round... That is round 60, as you can see there, round 60, 7,036 kills, and I am now ending the game. Zero downs, round 60. Oh, nice. Come on, Panzer. And there's people literally just finding the steps now uh, with these, with the traps, and not knowing what you have to do next or anything, so people are definitely looking. America has announced that they will be releasing the new DLC 2 trailer on Thursday the 31st of March. A lot of zombie YouTubers have been theorizing Takio's death and the upcoming new map that takes place on Pompeii, and sure enough, we see what looks just like that. We see the original crew of Takio being targeted, and it doesn't look good for Takio. Whoa. Where was I being hit from? What? What? I'm guessing the highest level this pistol will be is uh, level 7. That's what level all the other like pistols and secondaries and things are. <laughs> I can't wait for this. This is awesome. Did I do it? I hope so because this... Oh, well, nice, nice and new. Okay, did we do it? Did we do it? We did it, boys. And I just realised as well, 286 subscribers. We are now 14 away from the 300 subscribers. But tomorrow is basically the day when Zetsubo no Shima comes out. So that's obviously what I'm going to be playing. I'm, <laughs> I'm just really hyped for the map at the moment. Right. We're ready. Oh god. Oh boy. Oh my god. We have a crashed Japanese plane. That's probably a kamikaze plane or something. Alright, so the thing is I've got the underground bunker open. But I don't know anywhere in the underground bunker that would have a jump scare on it yeah so i was thinking like maybe the upgrade to that is taking like something from something else like from the big spider where today luckily i was able to be able to get myself the master mooney it's such a nice gun and i've just uploaded a tutorial on how to get it it's i'm bored of him now i just need work on him Whoa. <laughs> what what yo nat there's three max ammo <laughs> Nice guys, right, I'm gonna turn up the volume very quick. Look, look, what is wrong with my damn skull? Like, come on, man, come on, Treyarch. 
what are you doing to me? Why did my score run out so quick every single time? Like, I'm going to watch it back. Like, that, that damn stuff is just not, not, not on. I mean, come on. There we go. Level 100. Yeah, boy. No, no, no. Oh. Of course, there has to be a zombie that comes out of the window behind me. I think the game as a whole will be decent. Not as bad as everyone expects it to be. I don't know about the zombies though. I doubt anything could top the track zombies. It looks like, oh my god, it's a pistol, you know, whatever, but it's actually really powerful. Oh my god. Oh no. Man, I don't know who you are. Hey, it's called Minuteman. <laughs> Russian writing and everything. We have propaganda posters everywhere. Like, I mean, everywhere on this map. So, if you want to get a feel for what the DLC 3 map is going to be like, I would say base most of your information off of this map. Right, let's do this. Yeah, like, within the next few weeks, like, I will be playing zombies again, like, a lot more. But yeah, anyway, dude. Um, podcasts, uh, they're just a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait until I start mine. I hope yours go well. I'm going to do my best to cover everything we know about DLC 3 so far, and I'll also try and explain on how the community actually knows certain bits of this information. Today I wanted to make a video explaining the backstory of Gersh, because we are 99% sure that Gersh will make a return in the next DLC, and I want you guys to be up to date with some of the Ascension characters so you know what is going on once we get Cyphers talking more about Gersh and some of the other characters. I'll be explaining the backstory of the character Yuri Zavoisky, who is a character in the Ascension storyline. With DLC 3 just around the corner and DLC 3 being set in Russia, there is a high chance that certain characters like Yuri will return in some form or another. Hey guys, how's it going? We just got this image leaked on the Call of Duty Twitter page. It is now 20 to 2 in the UK, so yeah, about 18 hours I'd say, just without working it out. But anyway, we haven't got long until Gollum Kronobi is here. So within God Krovi, we have a message from Victor Reznov. If you come over here to the right hand side next to where you do your challenges, there is a message on a plank of wood that reads, Vengeance is mine. Would be nice if it was a bit quicker. Yeah, this is a well cool weapon. Today I wanted to talk about Sophia and make sure that all of you guys are up to date on the zombie storyline as far as Sophia is concerned. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we should be okay. And I don't know why I didn't reload that, but okay. Last night at Comic-Con in San Diego, Infinity Ward was showing off the new game Infinite Warfare, in which they did a lot of live streams and everything, and they also released this image of Infinite Warfare zombies. This right here is the first look into the Infinite Warfare zombies, especially at the logo, and it was also the only real image that we have, apart from the other one we had a couple months back. Okay, okay shock, 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 shock. Okay, yeah, okay, I shocked mine. Yeah, okay, keep okay. on shocking it. Okay. We do I it. Don't I don't know. Yeah, wait. We did. It's wait. A, it's a sound. It's the music. We yes! 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 Because of the two hit system, you get really worried when you get hit once. Right here we have the characters buying the door for the first time that we see. This is actually a viable door. Just throwing insults out there, left, right and centre. The Shadow Man. Oh my god. Okay. The one and only original Harbinger of Doom. Mine's blown. Oh, this is the last zombie. We got it. We got to round 100. Boys, it's not even an attempt anymore. This is reality. Round basically got Dr. Monty who sends the characters over to premise, but then they go through all the events again to then go back to revelations where they get sent back to premise again. And it's one big loop. It's an endless cycle. In all seriousness, I thought it was okay. I just wish more was explained. What happened to Samantha and the children? What happened to Maxis and Sophia? Where did the Apothecans go? What about the blood files? Where did they come from? How do they work? How come they didn't prevent Monty from trying to erase them? Who or what is Monty? Hopefully there is still more to the map that will be explained. 
the reason that my videos are so lit up really well is because I got let me set this round. I got my lighting which you can't see that well. They're on like sticks. So you got my microphone which is stood on a PlayStation 4 box which is stood on the Xbox One box, which is just on a chair, which is then on the floor because my floor is really messy. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Radio Premise, my name is Majorak and you're listening to this on Radio FM 115. Okay so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, this is going to be a bit of a different stream but basically we're going to be streaming the stream of Infinite Warfare Zombies in Space and I don't know exactly what to quite expect from it but I know there's going to be zombies, I know there's going to be new weapons and new gameplay and things. Start the <laughs> goddamn game! <laughs> Here, right, um... Here we go. Sometime in the 1980s. Oh. Yes, I'm Andre! Oh, yes! I'm the nerd. I'm Sally. <laughs> I'm Sally. I've got tights around my hands. Uh, cookie. Oh, here we go. 500 is actually a really big number. Like, when I think about 500 individual people who come to my channel and think the content is good enough that they'll actually come and subscribe so they watch more, it's like absolutely mind blowing in my opinion. I never thought I'd get to 500, especially within such a short amount of time. Today we're going to be looking at the Infinite Warfare Zombies. We're going to be doing sort of like a review on it. 15. Let's see how we can do. 15, I think, would be really nice. Oh god. I don't think it's going to get to 15 if we're going to end up like that. Ah, I didn't even know there was a zombie right there. I forget they just run so fast in this game. So basically with Modern Warfare Remastered, which by the way, my whole argument upon this whole basis is the fact that a remastered game is just better graphics from the game. Nothing should change in terms of the camos or in terms of like challenges or anything else like that. A remastering is just a pure bump up of the graphics. Boating, kind of spooky vibe, and then the world comes alive. Brilliant. There's new weaponry, there's so new fate and fortune. Oh, zombie, zombie bells, bells, what a smell, bone and tendons fray. Oh, what fun it is to blast a free bags ass away. Hey, zombie bells, straight from hell, oozing with decay. Ring their bells with shotgun shells and monkey bombs and blood. 